Hello friends, my name is Rudin VS. Yes, you are watching me on TechMarise YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to find all those accounts that are linked to your email address and remove them. So if you are someone who is concerned about their privacy in the internet, this video is definitely for you. So make sure to watch till the end of this video. When you visit a website and if they are asking you to create an account in their website, they will be asking for a lot of details. But in 99% of the cases, they will be asking for email address. Out of choice, you are forced to give your email address to all these websites. In some other websites, when they are asking you to create account, they will ask you to directly log in using your Google profile or Facebook profile, Twitter profile or any other social media platforms that are popular. So once you log in, they can easily create account using the data available in these profile. But the disadvantage is sometimes these profiles will link forever. So when they need a latest data, they can directly fetch from your profile. So what I would say, it is not a good idea to keep these accounts linked together forever. So what you can do is you can review all these things and you can remove if it is not wanted. So that's what we are going to look in this video. First, we are reviewing all those accounts that have direct access to your Google account. For that, you need to go to security settings of your Google account. For that, there is a direct link. I'll give that link in the description. You can click on that link. It will directly take you to that section. If you are already logged in in your browser, it will take you there. If you are not logged in, it might ask you to log in. Once you are in that page, look for a heading third party apps with account access and below that you need to click on manage third party apps. Once you click on that, inside that you can review all those applications you need to remove and you can keep all those applications you feel relevant. The next one is Facebook. For Facebook, there is a similar settings available which will list all those applications or websites that have access to your account. So I'll give the direct link for that page in the description. Once you click on that link, it will take you to that page where all these applications are listed. From there, you can manage all those applications, whichever you want, you can keep it, whichever you don't want, you can remove it from there itself. It's pretty similar story with Twitter also. You have a direct link for all those apps that have access to your account. I will give that link in the description. Once you click on that link, you can go there and manage apps. In any other social media platforms also, the method is similar. You can go to settings or security settings and you can find all those applications that have access to that account and you can manage from there. So this is fairly straight and very easy method. But when you look at all these accounts, you'll realize that there are a lot many accounts you have created, but only few are present in this list. So where is this account and how can you find that? The solution is very simple. Once you create an account, they'll send account verification email or account activation email into your inbox. So we'll search for all those emails and we'll be able to find out which all accounts you have created. Even though the solution is straightforward, it's not going to be easy and it's going to be very time consuming also. To help with that, there are a lot of tools available in the market which will help you read through all of your email and prepare a list of accounts that are linked to your email address. And you can directly click on this link and go to that account and deactivate or delete your profile. For example, emailexport.io is a tool similar to that. From the list of account these tools have prepared, you need to go to each and every account and log in there. And if you don't remember the password, you need to give forward password and you need to give security question, other details, then you will get password in the email. You need to use that password to log in that account and delete that account. And in some cases, there will not be any delete button also. So in that case, you need to mail to their customer care to asking to remove your profile. So it's a very time consuming process. Even though the tool is giving you a list, still it is a time consuming process. Before you use any of these tools that will list all the accounts that are linked to your email address, let me tell you just one thing. You are giving access to a third party applications to read all your email address. In my personal opinion, that is a blunder because if you are concerned about your privacy and this is a complete contradiction to what you believe in, you are giving all the access to read your personal as well as financial details from your email to a third party app. So if any chance, by any chance, if this data gets leaked or some other server got hacked, all this data will go public. So it's not a risk you should take. 
If you are ready to put some effort and time into it, there is a safest way of doing this. Do what these applications are doing manually by yourself. For that, what you can do is you can search for keywords like account created, profile created, verify your email address, registration, welcome to, account verified, verification link, confirm your email, etc. So these keywords will fetch those emails that are sent when you create an account. So you can go to each application and remove your account from there. If you are able to watch this video till this point, which means you are really interested in your internet privacy. So there is a good news for you. For almost all the accounts that are created online, after a period of inactivity of six months or one year, they will automatically delete your profile from their database. That is not 100% true in all the cases. But if that information is helping you to be relaxed, I'm happy that I told that information. Anyway, that's it friends. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell icon so you will get notified about the latest tech videos whenever I upload. Goodbye. See you on the next video.